Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the Final Cut. Hey, double upload an extra video for you guys today. This one talking about the Wolf Among Us Season 2. Yeah, pretty awesome, right? Not really because there is some unfortunate news that can be actually good or bad. It's kind of both half and half, but hey, let's go ahead and get into this article they posted on the Telltale blog news site saying, Hey Mondays, we're here with some news. The Wolf Among Us Season 2 saying that they are now launching in 2019 instead of the latter half which was the you know anything below the sixth month of 2018 they say that this delay comes as a result of a few fundamental changes here at telltale since we first announced the game last summer now i'm going to break down that little sentence there because it's very important for you guys to grasp what they mean by that okay so of course walking dead the final season and wolf among us were both announced in summer of 2017 yeah pretty important right but then a couple months later telltale announced a new ceo who is pete holly and took place of course of kevin bruner and then shortly after he went ahead and laid off you know 25 percent of the company i made a video about that if you want to check that out but they went ahead and laid off the rest of the employees that pretty much weren't needed because they overhired too much now okay so this delay was inevitable to be honest because telltale really they announced it during the kevin bruner ceo cycle after that pete took over and he laid off the company and basically just restructure everything and then go into just working on the walking dead the walking dead season four is coming out uh sometime this fall which is a great thing because now they have 100% focus on The Walking Dead. Not 100% actually, you know, they, they obviously do dev builds and uh, various other things. They now have focus, you know, quote unquote focus on The Walking Dead having just one game in a cycle. And obviously Wolf Among Us is coming out next year, but then they will have focus on that as well. So I feel like they're actually taking less time working on like, you know, games because they would usually do like a game then after that or like an episode and after that episode for another game and they would just you know kind of just like cycle in between walking there with among us walking there with among us and they might do that but i feel like focus is now just on one at a time at the moment which is very very great to see because i want them to put all their resources into making the walking dead great and then after that making the wolf among us season two great okay so and if they can actually, you know, focus on doing both at the same time, that would be great as well. But to go ahead and say as well in the little post here saying that taking this extra time will allow us not only to focus on quality, but also to experiment and iterate in order to craft something truly special. Now, it's very, very, very great to see because obviously they say they want to focus on quality, which is very much important, okay? not quantity i don't want quantity i want quality and i'm glad they actually acknowledge that and they also say to experiment and also craft something truly special now telltale doesn't really uh innovate too much and too often so seeing experiment really gets my hopes up for some really cool new mechanics and some new ideas regarding the whole telltale formula because telltale's formula is usually you know of course the same throughout every game so you know, hopefully they will do some experimenting, try some new things out, like the whole leak for The Walking Dead Season 4. The whole Life is Strange style camera is innovation in a way, for Telltale at least. So that's pretty much awesome. And say how their goal is to deliver an experience deserving of the passion that they've shown for The Wolf Among Us, which is very, very important. And they say, these extra months will give us the time we need to do our best work. We're extremely enthusiastic about how the game is progressing so far, and we can't wait to dig even deeper. So that's very, very important that, of course, Wolf Among Us confirming that, of course, it is in post-production, and they are working on it, and they are working to do the best job they can, and I really do believe that they are working at it, you know, day in and day out to give us an awesome experience, and I would think that, you know, releasing it this year would be way too early, considering The Walking Dead, the final season is also releasing this year, so what do you guys think about this news here? I'm looking forward to it, man, so much. I'm glad that they actually went ahead and, you know, uh, delayed it, and one of the words from, I forgot his name, I think it's 
Shikiro, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. The words from him are, a rushed game is forever bad, but a delayed game is eventually good. I, I keep those words, you know, one when, when like seeing games delayed because, you know, they have all the time in the world to fix it and make it great. But if you rush it out to market and it's bad, it you can't fix it. It's too late for that. So what do you guys think about this news about it being delayed? It is very unfortunate that we won't get Swoop Among Us this year. But hey, we had to wait this long. So, you know, we might as well wait a little bit longer. So I forgot to mention this, but they do show this whole, you know, of course, the whole blue logo background and everything. And it seems to have some snowflakes in it, man. And who else? knows about snowflakes good old snow white herself so i'm wondering if there is a focus on snow white in this season that would be pretty cool to see because she does wear snowflakes on her little uh outfit as well so maybe we'll see a big presence a big you know plot revolving around the character snow white and i am really looking for it to that thank you guys for watching once again i'm in front of Kun. if you guys did enjoy go ahead and leave me a thumbs up it helps out a lot and i do appreciate it and go ahead and subscribe for some more wolf among us content on the channel i'm in front of Kun, and i'll catch you guys next time on the wolf among us Thank you.